What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys some of the best VPNs that you can use with Kodi. Now, Kodi is a popular open source media player and entertainment hub. And when you're watching streaming services like Amazon and Hulu and Netflix and whatnot, uh, there may be a lot of content that you don't have access to just because of your region. So if you're, let's say, traveling abroad and you're not able to make use of or make full use rather uh, of your streaming accounts and whatnot, then what you could do is use a VPN with Kodi. So a VPN will basically help mask your IP address so that your internet service provider doesn't know what you're doing and you keep your activities private. It's also useful if you want to avoid any ISP throttling because ISPs might throttle your bandwidth if they detect that you're streaming high quality videos and such throttling will lead to buffering and poor playback quality. A VPN basically prevents your ISP from recognizing your streaming activities which will give you smoother playback. And all these VPNs are super quick. Another really good benefit is, again, you get access to geo-restricted add-ons uh, on Kodi that may not be available to you. And of course, uh, you're getting security because Kodi being open sourced might be targeted with malicious add-ons designed to compromise your device or data. So a VPN will add that layer of security so that you can be reassured that no type of cyber attack can ever happen as long as you're encrypted by a VPN. So as far as VPNs that work perfectly fine with Kodi, you've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. So let's talk a little bit about these to help you make a more informed decision if you're interested in any of them. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best most reliable vpn is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability express vpn is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium vpn next up is nord vpn and nord is what i consider to be the best value vpn it has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a vpn for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blocks ads malware ridden websites as well as protect your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature and so nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as expressvpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to expressvpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for or blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a 
a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.